Hello, students, and welcome to the lunch show. It's going to be a short show for you today. Uh, I do still need some students to send in uh, videos of themselves doing the Pledge of Allegiance and the Student Creed, so I'd really appreciate that if you guys uh, have that available. Also, I want to let you guys know that uh, we have a art club starting here at RISA. It'll be online with Miss Gowdy, and it will start this Friday. So there is a flyer for that art club in the resources section of the Google Classroom that this video is posted in, so I would encourage you to please check that out if you're interested in it. And we are going to be offering more and more uh, activities for you to do either during the student support blocks or uh, after school that you're going to be able to enjoy uh, more interesting activities. So there's, there's a lot of teachers that are trying to do uh, different activities. Maybe there were things that you were doing on Win Wednesday that you really liked. Let your teachers know about that, that you want to keep doing it because uh, they are still in the process of figuring out exactly what they're going to offer. So if you have suggestions or comments, it's always a good idea to let the teacher know what you liked. Uh, that being said, it is time for our uh, Black History Month facts. So uh, we got a few of them for you here. February 4th, 1913. Rosa Parks was born on February 4th, 1971. The National Guard was mobilized to quell rioting in Wilmington, North Carolina, and two people ended up being killed. On February 4th, 1996, J.C. Watts becomes the first uh, black person to be selected to respond to a State of the Union address. Uh, that is almost all I have for today, but I do want to mention one more thing, and that is that... Uh, we do have some seats available for in-person learning. So if you're a remote-only student and you are interested in coming and being in person, then you can uh, have your parents call the main office at RISA and request that you get added to the list to come in person. We have a waiting list. And so basically what we do is we take people in the order that they come, and as there are seats available, we allow people to move to in-person. We know that it's easiest in a lot of ways to learn in-person. Uh, we try to provide a really good offering for you in a remote setting, but uh, we do know that it is oftentimes easier for you to focus or what have you uh, when you're actually here in the building. So if that's something you're interested in, please have your parents call the main office and they can just request uh, that you be uh, moved to in-person. And as soon as we get seats available, we'll get you in here and start up a bus if that's uh, applicable to you. So that's all I have for today. Remember to strive to be an excellent student, strive to be an excellent human being, and strive to be responsible, respect, respectful, and safe. Have a great day.